All right, it's a beautiful Thursday morning, and it's time, as always, to talk sports on TV Breakfast. To begin with the Carabao Cup games yesterday. Liverpool reached the Carabao Cup semi finals after a dramatic penalty shootout win over Leicester City. As Takumi Minamino's 95th minute leveller and shot the 3 now and the 3 all before Kalman Keller's heroics. Liverpool completed a remarkable turnaround to advance to the Carabao Cup final and penalties on Anfield. The visitors opened the scoring after just 10 minutes at Anfield through veteran maximum Jimmy Vardy and doubled Brendan Rodgers' side uh, just uh, three minutes later to give the Reds a mountain to climb. Alex uh, Chamberlain pulled a goal back for the host just before the 20th minute mark at Anfield. James Madison restored Leicester City's two goal advantage with a thunderous strike into the corner. Diego Jota reduced the deficit before Takumi Minamino struck late to take the game to a shootout. Kelleher stands again, lucky to be a hero again, and does it again. Diogo Jota, Liverpool's goal-scoring hero, does it and sends Liverpool into the semi. The Belgian international to take first. Ah, oh, it's a beauty. Liverpool. <laughs> All right, the passion of London derby between Tottenham and West Ham also uh, took place at the Hot, uh, Hotspur Stadium on Wednesday in the Carabao Cup. Uh, of course, uh, quarterfinals where they host securing a 2-1 victory after the energy sapping Premier League clash with Liverpool on Sunday. Spurs were hoping to take advantage of Conte's call for the side to improve and they did so by reaching the domestic cup semi-final. Birdwin opened the scoring just before the hour half mark, uh, the half hour mark, as the Dutch international tried his luck from close range, coolly placing the ball into the corner, uh, the back of the net. The score line didn't last as Hammer struck back almost instantly, forcing Higa Loris into two smart saves right from kickoff, all before Bowen equalised. Bowen wriggled through Spurs' defence and broke into the penalty area before rolling the ball into the back of the net. There was yet another goal just one minute after that when Spurs retook the lead and it was once again Birdwin who was uh, centric to the move. Full time, Tottenham Hotspur 2, West Ham United 1. Got bodies back. Right, Imor Sanga joins me live now to uh, review these games. Uh, Imor, well, uh, Liverpool took a big step towards first Wembley appearance since 2016. Can this Liverpool side go all the way now? Good morning, Nike. It's good to be here. Of course, the Liverpool side, uh, fantastic side. When they took on Leicester, at the first half of that game, they look dead and buried. But the Liverpool side, knowing who they are, knowing the kind of elements they are, they came back very well in the second half. And late in that second half, they got a goal. And the 3-3, stretched to penalties, and they got the winning. They got the winning goal. They, they won Leicester. This is the same Liverpool. This, 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 this club in this competition normally likes using French players. And look at what they did. Every one of them came up to the party. They brought Takumi, every one of them immediately he did that substitution in the second half everybody clicked so i can tell you this liverpool side club wants to take this competition serious this time he wants to get a win he wants to win this cup he wants to win this efl cup so this liverpool side i'm sure they can go all the way giving these boys these young boys they are ready to give everything they have with the experience of these big boys in the team this liverpool side can really really go all the way like they can all right, well, Jürgen Klopp's side uh, has won four prizes since he built this side in 2015. And many have described uh, this Liverpool side as the best in a generation. Uh, do four prizes represent, give an accurate representation of uh, you know, what Klopp has done so far at Liverpool? It took three years in with Liverpool. Don't forget, Steven Gerrard left 2015. Immediately, Steven Gerrard left 2015. They needed a leader in that team. They needed somebody that could motivate them. So, Klopp came, motivated the boys, 
He started winning trophies. He started winning champions. He got to Champions League back to back. He won it. He won the EPA at a point. So he start. They, they are building progress. They are steady, steady slope or steady. They are building progress. He's building energy in this um, in this Liverpool side. So this Liverpool side, I must tell you, they are gradually getting to El Dorado. Their club is taking them to where they are supposed to be. They are winning trophies. They are getting. They are getting getting fans behind them. So this Liverpool side, I can tell you, Klopp, they are doing very well. Everything they are doing, Klopp is supporting them. The fans are supporting them. They are getting to where they need to. And as I can tell you, this Liverpool side, they can go all the way in Europe, England, and everywhere they participate. They won so many trophies. And uh, I give kudos to Klopp for the discipline he has brought to this Liverpool side. All right, let's uh, turn our attention now to the game between Tottenham and the um, uh, West Ham the last game against uh, Liverpool, no doubt, was, uh, of course, energy sapping. And uh, there was a sense in which yeah, Conte sure. told the players that they needed to, um, to up their tempo, to improve upon you know, that. We saw that in the game against West Ham, didn't we? Yes, exactly. The, this Tottenham side, they played all. They gave you, when you play, with the, when Conte is managing you, Conte will demand so much from your defenders, demand so much discipline from the midfield, he demand so much um, press from the attacker. So they give so much in this game. They, at a point, you will feel they, they, they had the game. They knew they, they knew they are going to take this game because this West Ham side, they, some players were missing. Aaron Criswell was missing. So they took advantage of the midfield, took the loopholes in the defence, and the likes of Bedouin were just having a field there at that back line. That is what gave them the victory. And this 31 side, the last time they won this trophy, 2008, I think they are also smelling the trophy. They have a feeling they can win it with this discipline that Conte is bringing to the side. So kudos to Tottenham, kudos to Conte. They can go all the way if they maintain this discipline. They can. And he said in the aftermath of the game that, look, this side uh, hasn't got the capacity to win the Carabao Cup. Do you think that Conte just played a man game there? Of course, he was just playing mind games. He won't come out and say he's going to win the trophy. So he, he also come up as if he's not interested in this trophy. So that other coaches will look elsewhere. Tom Conte needs this trophy. He wants to win trophy. He knows winning trophy. He knows what, he knows what winning trophy can do to his CV, to his profile. So he wants to win this trophy. He knows he's facing Chelsea in the semi-finals. He knows it is a big stack. The last time he won this trophy, thought he had won this trophy. He defeated, he defeated Chelsea two one. That was back in two thousand and eight. And the last time Chelsea won this trophy too, he defeated Tottenham back in twenty fifteen. So these two sides have history. And don't forget, uh, Conte has coach. Uh, they have both of them has history behind them. So they are going to this uh, semi final with great history. And anything can happen. It's anybody's game. Like anybody's game. And all right, in the other game as well, the Chelsea beat Brentford two, uh, two goals to nil. And you know, just before the game you know, yesterday, Chelsea, you know, having suffered uh, a raft of uh, you know, COVID cases, <coughs> excuse me, decided to promote you know, young players from the academy. And about three of them or thereabout were involved in that game yesterday. What do you make of their performance? Of course, um, young players, they... You will come in, uh, the, the excitement will be there. They will make few mistakes, make few mistakes. The likes of Harvey, he made some few errors. But um, with time, if they start blowing them into this team, this team, these boys can go all the way. You just need the confidence of the coaches. They need the confidence of the players around them. They can. They can go far. They can, they can blow into the team. Thanks. No thanks to COVID that is causing some players not to play. But it's giving other players the opportunity to show. Normally, these players, if not for COVID, the coach teacher won't bring them in, but he's giving other players opportunity to see what they can bring to the table. And um, they didn't really disappoint. I'll give them, it was like a 60% 60 performance on the night. They really did their best, considering their age. All right. Uh, well, uh, we cannot go without talking about the, uh, the semi-final parents that um, have been you know, made available now. Of course, Arsenal will be uh, taking Liverpool and then Chelsea versus Tottenham.